Welcome to Embracing Each Other, Embracing Our Future, our UU Church West Pledge Drive Celebration. I'm Reverend Suzelle, your co-host for this evening. And I'm Lisa Larson, Church Vice President. Uh, your other co-host, we are so happy you've joined us tonight. We have a fun and fabulous evening planned full of stories from our members, songs from our amazing choir, music from the fabulous Kaleidoscope work Worship Band, and heartwarming images to remind us of the many ways we have embraced each other over this very challenging year. You bet. But Lisa, don't forget the surprises. What surprises, Suzelle? Well, if we tell everybody what they are, it won't be a surprise, will it? I guess you have a point. But can we tell them about the prize, the prize drawing, right? Yeah, we can tell them about the prize drawing. It's a pretty great drawing. Everybody who's already pledged who has been entered, and then there were like these ways to get more entries, and the prizes are awesome. Yes, they are. There are five prizes, $25 gift certificates to Confectionately Yours, Rise and Grind, Sauce and Spice, Milwaukee Pizza, Funky Fresh Spring Rolls, Buffalo Boss Organic Wings and Things, $25 each. All great places to eat that are part of the Sherman Phoenix, a collective a collective of black owned businesses in Milwaukee. I have been to, it looks like Hermione's been there too. I've been to the Sherman Phoenix. I've had funky fresh spring rolls and I've had Milwaukee pizza and I didn't get anything at confectionately yours, but I was drooling. Hard to believe. <laughs> I know, I love cookies. So um, we're gonna be drawing those winners at the end of the night. So stay tuned. But before we move on, I want to remind you that if you haven't yet made a pledge of official support to UUCW for the upcoming fiscal year, it's very easy to do. Call the church office or send an email message with your pledge. We'd love to hear from you. So I just have a little piece of advice for you now as we um, enter into the program a little more deeply make sure you set your zoom view to gallery if you're on a computer that's a little notice up at the top right hand corner of your screen we also want to take a moment to introduce the folks who helped make tonight's entertainment possible it's an amazing team here with us in the zoom studio we have Dave Cicero, our Director of Lifespan Religious Education. We have Vicki Banville, Church Administrator. We have Hermione Zamzo, a member of our YRUU Youth Group. We have Kelly Bognar, the mysterious Kelly Bognar, who's almost never on the screen. She's our Publications Coordinator. And we have Reverend Denise Colley, our brand new assistant minister. Denise, you want to say hello? Hello. I'm really looking forward to getting to know you all. I'm in, one of my, in front of one of my pieces of artwork. I know I've met some of you, but it'll be great to learn more about all of you. Thanks for inviting me. Reverend Denise will be with us later for the drawing too. We also want to say a word of thanks to our lead music director, Jen Nicolazzi, and three young singers, Helen German Fisher and Valerie and Whitney Brown, and also to music director, Ruben Pirainen. 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 And <laughs> our choir singing with singers, Gina Barton, Vicki Brostrom, Susan Endes, Karen Engelking, Robert Fuel. Jim Fisher, Kurt Gatano, Haley German Fisher, Colleen Gresk, Terry Conert, Carol Sewell, and Sarah Stokes. They are truly amazing tonight, our choir. We are also grateful to our Kaleidoscope Worship Band members, Natalie Fleury, Kurt Gatano, Joel Harris, Linda Moyer, Deb Reich, 
Andy Vrakis and Daniel Weeby. And we offer our thanks as well to our storytellers, Mark Steinberg, Genevieve Daniels, and Whitney Brown, Joel Sharon and Spencer Harris, Laura Liam and Sam Wagner and our own Larson. <laughs> and just one more group. Thank you to our stewardship committee, Leslie Peterson, Lynn Capitan, and Jean Baker. Yes, thank you so much, Stewardship Committee, for all your hard work on this year's pledge drive. And now, are you ready? Are you ready? Let's do it. The UUCW Choir. Woohoo! <laughs> tears to my eyes. It really has been a long, cold, lonely winter. But being here together tonight, I can feel the warmth of our community, just like the growing warmth of the sun. Me too, Suzelle. That was just what I needed. COVID-19 sure has made this a challenging year. I'm so glad UUCW kept going through and kept going through and kept offering ways for us to stay connected. It's really been great. Yeah, so let's take a look at some of those cool things now. Some scenes from our year past. Kelly Bognar made a marvelous video for us. Let's watch it now. This is Reverend Suzelle Lynch, and I'm here in our empty sanctuary at UU Church West just to say hello to you all and let you know that I'll miss seeing you this Sunday. Because due to the coronavirus, we have made the hard decision to go um, virtual with our worship services instead of in person, at least for the next several weeks. Welcome to Unitarian Universalist Church West's first experimental live stream worship service. 
Being transformed into all that you need 
to take with you into 2021. Fire is the great transformer. I have one final candle to light. And this is a candle for all of us. This is a candle for all of us, including Miss Sparky, who's a very vocal little creature. We light our final candle for each of us and for all of us, because we know that joys and concerns come into every human life. Not all of them may be ready to share, but we light that final candle to acknowledge that the warmth and caring of the Unitarian Universalist Church community extends to support all of our members and all of our friends, our neighbors, and our wider community of human companions on this great planet Earth. Wow, that was really lovely. Really made me think of such great things we've done this year. Thank you, Kelly. One of the great things about UUCW is the way our members share with each other and get involved in the life of the church. We asked a few members to share their stories tonight of how they embraced each, each other and UUCW this year. So let's hear one of those stories now, followed by one of our favorite hymns. Hi, I'm Laura Wagner. I'm Liam Wagner. I'm in ninth grade. I'm Sam. I'm in seventh grade. And we just wanted to share how valuable it's been to have virtual religious education classes going on this year and how much that makes us feel connected to UU since we've all been virtual. Um, as a parent, I really appreciate my boys still being able to attend RE classes and still see their fellow classmates and learn um, because I think that the RE curriculum we teach here is really valuable and I wouldn't want them to miss out on that. And as an RE teacher, it's been really great to still get to see the kids' faces in the Zoom calls and feel some of that same connection that I felt in past years when we've been able to be together in person. Um, so, do you want to share Lee? I personally just like the fact that I'm able to meet with my, I guess, I'm, I'm a freshman so I'm kind of, I'm new to the why are you you class that I'm in? So there's some people that I know that are there that were with me throughout my entire RE, I guess, career. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and I also get to meet a whole bunch of uh, seniors, juniors, some sophomores, some people that I don't know, but hopefully I can eventually make a lot of friends there. <laughs> uh, I feel like I've already started that. I find it fun that I'm able to meet with my friends from previous years from uh, church and not have to wear a mask and still be able to meet with them and talk to them. And also I can wear my pajamas at home. Yes. Also, I think we wanna just add as a last thought that we've really liked the couple times this year there've been bonfires where oh, they've really gotten fun. to get together in person at church grounds and, and um, be with other people from the church in person and that was really wonderful. So we're just really appreciative of all the efforts to stay connected with the church that have been happening this year. Yes. Together.
my goodness, that was so fantastic. It's so good to hear those young voices singing about your needs for belonging, our needs for belonging and friendship, and our search for truth and meaning. Those are things I truly love about our church. I do too. And it's great to hear about religious education and youth group as well. When I was growing up as a UU kid, I really felt like Liam and Sam do. And I can tell you now, all these years later, that in RE and youth group, I made friends that have lasted my whole life long, friends who share my values. Let's hear some more stories of ways UUCW people are staying connected. Let's do it. Good evening, fellow UUs. My name is Mark Steinberg. I have been a UUCW member for 10 years. This year's pledge drive theme is embracing each other, embracing our future. The word embrace can be defined as welcoming with open arms, holding, hugging, accepting completely. From the first time I walked into our church, I felt the embrace of this warm and caring congregation. And that feeling has continued even during the challenging times presented by the pandemic. Church membership has been a very important part of my life. Despite the inability to have in-church services and hold other in-person events over the past 12 months due to the pandemic, there are numerous virtual opportunities available to participate in and benefit from church membership. Suzelle, her staff, and our board have done a wonderful job of adapting to COVID-19 constraints and maintaining connections to our congregation while continuing to support our existing community programs and promote new initiatives aligned with our UU values and principles. Although I serve on several church committees and participate in other group functions, I especially appreciate and enjoy the fellowship provided by the church's breakfast group meetings led by Jerry Kashmerik. They are one of many virtual church activities that connect with and embrace our members. Our group of about 10 people meets for about an hour via Zoom twice monthly. The breakfast group meetings continue a tradition established many years ago before I became a church member. During our meetings, we share joys and concerns, stories and experiences, discuss current events and recommend a variety of books, movies, and TV shows of interest. These meetings help cement relationships and provide opportunities to care for the collective welfare of the group. There are a number of ways to support our wonderful church. Embrace your fellow UUs, stay connected to church activities, volunteer for leadership roles, and give generously or whatever you can to support the operating fund. As Suzelle noted during Sunday's service, there is no church without its people. We are the church. Your active membership and financial support are the lifeblood of our church. We're the Harrises. Hello. This Hello. is Karma. <laughs> Uh, we really appreciate all that UUCW has been doing for us during this pandemic to stay connected. Yeah, absolutely. Um, I've been having a lot of fun. Uh, there have been some bonfires with uh, YRUU. There have been some, some Zoom meetings uh, where we can just sort of talk, interact with uh, Dave, the director of YRUU. Yeah, and um, I've been catching some of the services on Facebook. I think it's awesome that I can either watch it live or later. That's always kind of cool. Yeah. And I have been, I've been keeping relatively busy with the band. Um, if the, uh, the church hasn't requested a specific song for us to do, which is always fun, um, especially now that we're recording videos too, it's a little bit of a challenge, but we're getting used to it. And, uh, our, our songs are sounding better and better. We're getting, we're we're starting to seem like we know what we're doing, and um, I, I just can't wait for us to be able to get back and perform for the church, and um, you know, add that extra bit to it. But 
I've been keeping in touch with uh, my fellow bandmates uh, quite a bit, which is wonderful. We've been just, you know, helping each other through this. So that's yeah, been great. I also really appreciate the newsletters we get. Um, I especially love reading the joys and concerns. Yeah, I agree. And the pandemic stories. It's always cool to see what you all are up to. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and like uh, Dave's new uh, sort of walk around the church, uh, winter the interactive. The story, story yeah. hike. Yeah. yeah. Uh, I, mean, I know some people have been enjoying themselves going out there, checking it out. Yeah, Spencer and I helped uh, put up the stakes with the signs for that. That was fun to actually see some of you in person. Yeah. Yeah. So it's, it's working for us. The church has is, is definitely been working for us and, um, you know, helping us survive all this craziness. Yeah. Thank you, UCW. See ya. Boy, that was fun hearing those stories, wasn't it? Very. That was cool. Yeah, I, I love hearing about all the, the ways people are participating in the activities of the church. And I loved hearing about the breakfast group and how it's connecting those men in our congregation. That's pretty powerful. And how the Kaleidoscope Band is staying in touch nice. too. And it was yeah. great to see Spencer on the screen. You know, his um, East uh, West Gateway project was oh. so cool this year. Very yeah. cool. Yeah, I know, I love that. Yeah. Yeah, it's been really great. As well as the, as, as the weather gets warmer and more of us are able to get vaccinated, it's going to be really good. We're going to get to be more connected again in small groups and gatherings outdoor at church and outdoor at church. So I can't wait. Me too. I can't wait till I get my shot. <laughs>
Rock on. All right. The, uh, the skit we're about to perform for you now is original, and it was written especially for this occasion today. Now, it may not provide much of an escape from your own experiences, but its aim is to remind us of how important it is to hold on to each other, to stay in relationship with each other, despite our circumstances. You are doing that just by being with us tonight. Thank you. In our online play, you'll meet four characters, Aiden and Nikki, two imaginary UU Church West teens, Loneliness, who tries to discourage Aiden, and Hope, who, well, you'll see. So now we present to you, Never Alone. Hey, remember that time after YouthCon with Adriana and, and Lamar and Jenna? <laughs> when we were visiting the zoo and it just started pouring? Yes, we had to find the shelter in the pavilion by the reptiles. We stood there and we talked for so long, even after it stopped raining. God, that was such a great time. I think I still have pictures of it somewhere in my phone. I can't believe we haven't been able to do that kind of thing in over a year. I know. I miss you a lot, Aiden. I miss hanging out with you and everyone else in Why Are You You? Well, you still see me at school. Yeah, right. From six feet away with a mask on, the only time I get to actually see your face is through a screen or a mask. That's how I see everyone now. Yeah, I know, but it's not forever. Yeah, but when is it going to end? No one knows. It feels like a million years, like it's never gonna get better, even after vaccines are out. I'm so sick of it. It feels like the walls are just closing in and I, I just wanna scream. Nikki, come on, you just gotta be patient. I'm tired of that, patience is really, really hard. Before COVID, life was so much easier. Hey, I guess that's just how life goes. Does life take constructive criticism? Because I have a long list of things that I think should be changed. Yeah, I hear you, girl. If it did, if life did take it, man, I would have some constructive criticism. criticism constructive criticism of my own. But listen, you know, my mom is calling me to dinner. I gotta go, but uh, I'll see you around school? I mean, technically, but not really. Nikki, come on, man, be positive. I'm positive that everything's awful. Well, I'll see you, okay? Okay. Bye. Bye. Hey, Nikki, what is up, buddy? Who are you? <laughs> Who am I? You know me, Nikki. My name is Loneliness. I'm your doubt and fear. I am your hopelessness, your isolation. Well, could you maybe go away? I've had enough of you. It's been pretty rough with the whole COVID pandemic thing. Oh, I know. Isn't this pandemic great? I am at my prime these days. You can't go out and do anything or see anyone. What little act interaction you do get, you're all masked up. You're socially distanced, which I'll have you know was my nickname back in the day. So, Nikki, when was the last time you saw your friends smile in person? When was the last time you gave them a hug? Why are you asking me that? Well, all your favorite places to go are still closed, churches and open, except maybe online. School is just weird and awful. You can't have your friends over, no parties. Stop it. I, I don't need reminders. Oh, come on, Nikki, I'm loneliness. This is my job and I do it very, very well. The world looks bleak and there's nothing you can do about it. Well, well, maybe, maybe there is something. Oh, really? Like what? I could organize a 
like a, you know. Um, you can organize a nothing. Not yet. Let's face it. Everything's awful. You're trapped in this house all alone. You're totally alone and tired. And powerless. Oh, so true. Let's just dwell on that for a bit. Um, excuse me, uh, who are you? Hello, I am Hope. I'm positivity and belief in good. Yeah, sure, don't care. Now, Nikki, where were we? Oh yeah, isolation, doubt, fatigue, everything's falling apart. It doesn't have to fall apart, Nikki. It doesn't? No, it doesn't, and it isn't, really. Um, have you checked the news lately? I have, and I've also checked Church West's worship services and Rev Suzelle's Spirit Lifter and all the opportunities there to connect online. How can those help me? Yeah, reading some blog, watching some live stream alone and online still just leaves Nikki more alone, all alone by herself. Lonely, lonely Nikki. Oh, don't listen to loneliness, Nikki. You're not really alone. I think you know that you have the whole Church West community with you. It might still be online for now, but so many people are connecting, getting nourished during worship and saying hi to each other over the chat making calls, sending cards and small gifts, sharing their joys and concerns in the Spirit Lifter, connecting in Zoom groups, learning anti-racism together, practicing yoga, discussing books, planning outings. The church hasn't gone anywhere, really. Uh, so what? Those are all just more second-rate pandemic alternatives. So, Nikki, connecting in these ways reminds us about what's important, community. And only by moving forward, taking action, can we keep me, Hope, alive. Through the good times and the bad, the good people of Church West embrace and take care of each other. They inspire and work for justice and equity, creating more opportunities for everyone. Yeah, but I'm not sure what it is I need. Everything is just so confusing right now. It's easier just to say, just to stay checked out. Nikki, I can see you're feeling hopeless and hear that you're conflicted, but life is full of contradictions. Paradox in the end can be a reason itself for hope. Wherever we are in life, change is going to happen. In difficult times, we just pledge to keep going, to act with, well, hope, to be joyful, even after you've considered all the facts. You know, I forget sometimes that I'm not the only one feeling this way. I know that other people count on me too. That's okay, Nikki, we all forget especially when we're stressed by something as huge as a pandemic that upsets nearly everything in our lives. It's easy to lose sight of the people who are always there, sometimes in the background, cheering us on. That's what a spiritual community, a beloved community, is all about. You might be scattered from friends, family, other congregation members, but you are not separated. We all have a bond that connects us in love. Yeah, yeah. We might be distant, but we're still connected and want to create a better world. Well, that's all great, but you know, things are still really bad out there. Hey, loneliness, it sure can be bad, but you know what? Hope has reminded me that my connection with the church is stronger than any stupid pandemic. We just need to remember to reach out, to embrace each other and our future. So before you sign out, stick around and let me share the spirit lifter with you. After that, we can do a Google Hangout together with my friend Lamar from Why Are You You? Well done, Nikki, well done. For sure. 
Thank you, Hermione, Dave, Vicki, and Suzelle. That was fantastic. I like that message, especially from Hope, that our connections to UUCW are stronger than the pandemic. Yeah, that's right. Our connections with each other really are stronger than the pandemic. It sure can be easy sometimes, though, to lose sight of the folks who are there in the background cheering us on. UUCW is doing its best to be there for all of our members and all of our kids. Did you notice it took a little minute there for loneliness to, to go away? We're doing our best, but we need your help. <laughs> We're doing our best for all of our members and for our teenagers and for our kids. And we do it because that's actually, that's part of what it means to be the church. I know Genevieve, Genevieve Daniels and her daughter, Whitney, have a story for us. So let's hear from them now. Let's do it. Good evening. My name is Jen Daniels. I'm here to share my story on connections. When I think about this past year, I'm probably, like many of you, coming in with a multitude of thoughts, feelings, emotions. Here's what I have to share tonight. First, appreciation on the extraordinary efforts of Dave, the RE teachers, our music directors, Kelly, Reverend Suzell, and the entire UUCW staff to keep our youth and kids connected. Highlights for me this year were my son Nick's coming of age ceremony, my daughter Valerie's solo during the joy of music service, Whitney's summer story times, and Rainbow Dragon, and our opportunity to do a family chalice lighting. This is all above and beyond the weekly virtual RE programs. And here to tell you more about that is my daughter, Whitney. Hello, my name is Whitney Brown. I am one of the RE students at UUCW. I think this is the best church because we are all staying connected even though we can't see each other face to face. One way that we are staying connected is with Zoom and Facebook Live. I like how Dave is keeping us connected by having us sing a worship service song and having us do fun activities. Once we got to make music with a hairbrush. Another time we got to have a meditation. We also get to do stories with Dave. His stories are about what you're going to learn about. So if the lesson is about responsibility, the book will be about something or someone who is responsible. I'm glad we find these ways to get to be together. Providing my kids a strong spiritual foundation was one of the reasons why I joined UCW and I'm grateful for all the creativity and dedication to have strong programming continue this past year. Next, a video clip I saw by author Tara Moore recently got me thinking about the words independent and dependent. That's because this past year, I've been taking a more concerted effort to teach my son how to be more independent. There's a timeline now that he's approaching 16 years old and I have to make sure he can keep it on his own. In Tara's clip, she comments that she can't think of any healthy human being she knows or people she admires that she would consider truly independent. Responsible, yes, but we are at our best when we're operating as highly interdependent. In reflecting on this and the recent sermons that we've had from church, it made me grateful of the lessons we learn on being interconnected here at UUCW, even if we can't physically be together. I don't wanna lose sight of that as I teach my son personal responsibility. Being vulnerable on this dependence, I find it comforting to know no matter what kind of life we have, what mistakes that we've made, how we've been engaging during this pandemic and what we're able to give and when there is support in this community. This past year of ups and downs and many times of me wanting nothing to do with connecting using technology has certainly made me even more aware of the exceptional efforts made by UUCW staff, volunteers, and you, my fellow members, this is my place of continual reminder that I'm part of a larger world. And during these times, that is a really good thing. 
Thank you, Genevieve and Whitney, for sharing your story of interdependence and connection. And speaking of connection, our UUCW staff miss connecting with all of us too. They have a song to share with us now that was written by Suzelle. It's a song about longing, a song about hope too. The future is still cloudy. We've been waiting so long. It's hard to be separated. Yeah, it just feels so wrong. Are we a community when we're not face to face? How do we hold on to our faith? Is the church just a place? How do we embrace each other when we're so far apart? How do we embrace the future when we can't see that far? If we hold on, will love show us the way? We know that we'll be together again some hasn't been easy staying so far apart seeing you only on zoom screens yeah it's breaking my heart but my soul takes such solace in the stories you share the ways you hold on to each other How do we embrace each other when we're so far apart? How do we embrace the future when we can't see that far? If we hold on, love will show us the way. And we know that we'll be together again someday I can't wait to see you we'll reach out our hands the doors will be flung wide open yeah won't that be grand oh can't you imagine the hugs and the tears so good back together yeah set down our fears someday we'll embrace each other no longer apart so let us embrace that future mind, soul, and heart if we will hold on love will show us the way we know that we'll be together again someday. Someday we will be together, we'll be face to face. And we will embrace each other and our sacred space. I know we can hold on. Love will show us the way Cause we know that we'll be together again someday Cause we know that we'll be together again someday
Wow, that was so good. Suzelle wrote that, you guys. I think she needs to get that syndicated. Anyway, hi everybody. Once again, I'm Lisa Larson and I'm your Board of Trustees Vice President. I'm excited to be here with you tonight for the pledge drive. So let's get right to it. What's a pledge? And why do we ask you to make one? Our annual pledge drive is the way we find out how much money we're going to ha have available to run the church for the next year. Just like many of us make a budget at home based on how much money we're earning, UUCW budgets based on the money you are planning to give. Who does the budgeting around here? Good question. Members of our finance committee led by treasurer Leslie Peterson. You use are a practical bunch, and we're proud of the fact that we are realistic. We spend carefully and budget wisely. We also want to pay our employees a fair wage. Keep in mind when you pledge that you get what you pay for. I've been calling my legislators for years, telling them that I do not support tax cuts that take support away from programs that are for the benefit of society. Social programs that help those in need and programs that protect our environment. I am more than willing to have my taxes raised for those things. Money well spent is well worth it. How does telling my legislative representatives that I support taxes relate to our pledge drive? Well, just as we each pay taxes to collectively fund programs that benefit society, our financial pledges to the church are our way as a community to work collectively to accomplish the worthy missions of UUCW. It's money well spent. My pledge also allows me to connect with a group of people who believe in science and truth. It allows me to attend programs that help me learn about current social and environmental issues, encouraging discussion and questioning. My pledge also helps me create relationships with people who care. I met one of my best friends here. And this week, three kind UU friends reached out to me. One with a thoughtful handwritten note, another with a kind, caring email, and a third with a call of concern and friendship. That brought warmth to my heart. Just like our pledge theme, embracing each other and embracing the future. I felt their embrace. My pledge is money well spent. COVID-19 presented UUCW with so many challenges this year. We love being physically together as a church community. It's nourishing for the mind and the soul. Our staff and board worked very hard to find ways to help us stay connected and find spiritual nourishment. What may have seemed like off time for our church staff was actually quite the opposite. Imagine the challenge of creating new lines of communication and new ways to nourish our whole church community. But they did it. They're amazing. They created online Sunday services, which have been thought provoking and soul sustaining, all of which are available online for viewing later. They supported Zoom meetings for congregational gatherings, book clubs, soul circles, and the many committees and teams our church has. Through Zoom meetings, we adopted the eighth principle to reiterate our commitment to dismantle white supremacy culture systems and fight against racism, which led to the creation of our new anti-racism transformation team that is helping us take action on the eighth principle. Through email, Suzelle's weekly spirit lifter does indeed lift my spirits and allows me to stay in touch with your joys and concerns. And each week, <clears throat> the e-news shows us what's going on in the life of our church. All so we can embrace each other and embrace the future. Did I mention there's a light at the end of the tunnel? With vaccines being given and rates of infection dropping, our COVID-19 task force has been working hard to come up with guidelines for safely getting back to in-person services, religious education, and other activities. It's not gonna happen until it's safe. 
but the protocols are being put together so when the time is right, we'll be ready to embrace each other and embrace the future. I can't wait to see you. Oh, and there's even a pledge drive silver lining because of COVID, yes, because of COVID. For the first time ever, you can make your financial pledge from the convenience of your own home with just a couple clicks on the computer. Crazy! Of course, you can still pledge by sending an email to UUCW at UUCW.org or by calling the church office and leaving a message. We want to make it as easy as possible for you. So tell me, what will you contribute toward our church budget this year? Remember that UUCW, at UUCW, your dollars are well spent. And what we pledge becomes our budget because this is our church. If we want quality programs to, to maintain our facility, it takes money from us. It doesn't come from anywhere else. If we have the money to appropriately fund the things we need, I'll be happy. You'll be happy. Well, I'll be happy. If you've already made your pledge for 2021, the 2021-2022 fiscal year, thank you. If now, after listening to my fantastic pledge drive ask, you've decided to pledge more, double thank you. If you haven't pledged and are getting ready to, thank you. Together, we are a community. Collectively, our pledges make our budget. When we embrace each other, when we give to support this community we all share, we embrace our future as a community, a community that nurtures our hearts, our minds, and our spirits. Thank you once again. Wow. wow. You are awesome. <laughs> If it wasn't COVID, I'd be like giving you a big hug. <laughs> I really appreciate Lisa's good words. And if we work together, we really can embrace each other and embrace the future of UUCW. For sure. <laughs> if we keep on giving, keep on sharing, keep on embracing each other, UUCW's future is going to be pretty bright. You know, it's going to be so bright. I think we're going to have to put on our shades. <laughs> <laughs>
the masses. I got a crazy preacher, she wears dark glasses. Things are going great, and they're only getting better. We'll be doing all right for many decades. The future's so bright. I gotta wear shades. I gotta wear shades. I gotta wear shades. I gotta wear shades. Wow, that was amazing. <laughs> Woo, gotta wear shades. <laughs> thank you, choir. <laughs> and thank you to everyone who made tonight possible. It's been one, a wonderful celebration of our community. And I hope you're all feeling inspired to embrace each other and embrace the future of UUCW. Thank you, Lisa. It's been so great to have you as my co MC. <laughs> and as we promised, it's now time for the prize drawing. So let's bring Reverend Denise back to help us. She's going to draw our five lucky winners. Nice shades. There she is. Nice shades, <laughs> baby. <laughs> All right. I have the secret prize bowl here with all the slips in there. The first one, I'm excited because I love to cook and bake too. And this one is from Confectionately Yours Bakery. Who doesn't want that? Drum roll. Phil Croner and Jeannie Baker. Baker gets the baked goods. Woo! Somehow it's we, we have to do this so that we, we look like we're clapping, right? All right, the next one is from a very important food group, Rise and Grind, right? Because we all need coffee because we're you use and it's the fuel that keeps us going. Yes. So yeah, let me, let me reach in. Rise and grind goes to Lori and Bill Harrigis. Harrigus. 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 Yes. Oh. Let's all be Italian today and pretend we're in Napoli, right? The next one is from Sauce and Slice Milwaukee Pizza. Pizza. We love pizza. Pizza. We love pizza, right? <laughs> this one goes to Julianne and Kurt Gatano. Okay. Mr reach in. Ooh, for this one is for someone who has something spicy in their life. It's Buffalo Boss Organic Wings and Things. Yeah. It goes to Jennifer and Michael Valor. Ooh, yeah, Valier. Valier. Yeah. Excellent. I'll learn this. You all can I teach know. me. You're going to learn everybody, Miss Denise, Reverend Denise. Reverend Denise, yeah. Uh, that'll, be, that'll be quite a thing, huh? Um, especially since this church is so large, I don't get to see all your names on Zoom while we do this, so that'll be a thing. <laughs> all right, the last one I am super excited about. I heard that they just started selling these also at Outpost, but the gift certificate's probably not for there. But that's how popular this next one is. It's Funky Fresh Spring Rolls. I'm digging deep. I know. We want to go. I do. I want to go too. Randy Krieger. Yay! Yay! And remember, giving is a spiritual practice. We all feel generous when we give. It's a great way to act out our faith and justice. So take care of your congregation because this belongs to you. So true. Thank, Thank you, you Denise. Reverend Denise. Yay. Good
Good job. Yeah. Thank you, Reverend Denise. We look forward to seeing more of you in the future. And to everyone here, remember, it's not too late to make your pledge. So before we go, so, let's get our Zoom crew back on the screen. Kelly, Hermione, Dave, and Vicki. We all want to say how glad we are that you, UCW's future is so bright and that we're going to embrace each other and embrace our future. We want to say how wonderful it's been to have all of you here with us tonight. Thank you. Thank you for being here. Thank you for pledging. And have a wonderful evening. Yay! Yay. We love you. Nice seeing you all.